This is the best I can come up with. I want it to be quick. If it takes too long, if there's too much time for me to think about it, I won't do it. I'll chicken out and end up calling for help. It has to be quick. But it has to be painless too. Is it painless to be electrocuted? I've always heard that the electric chair is humane. Because once the electricity hits your brain, which is supposed to be immediate, you're gone. Even if your heart is still beating, you're, you're not going to feel anything. But if it's humane, why did all the states stop using it? Why did the ACLU call it cruel and unusual punishment? Do you really not feel anything after that first jolt? And that's what they say, but how would anybody know? I know it's going to be messy, but that doesn't matter so much. I just, I need for it to be quick and for it not to hurt. And really, I, what are my options? A lot of people get in the bathtub and slash their wrists, but that's anything but quick. I, I don't see how anybody could do it. You'd just be lying there in the water, feeling yourself die. All that time to think, and it would hurt. Cutting yourself with a razor would hurt. The only alternative would be to swallow a mouthful of sleeping pills beforehand, but then if you're gonna swallow sleeping pills, then there's no need to slit your wrists or get in the bathtub. I thought about sleeping pills, but that wouldn't be quick. Even if you downed a whole bottle, it would still take a while to kill you. Anything you could take that would be faster, like rat poison, <laughs> would hurt like hell. Like a fire burning inside your guts. There just aren't that many options if you get right down to it. I mean, I know I'm being picky. It has to be over quickly and it has to be painless. A bullet to the brain? Sure, but I don't have a gun. Then there's hanging. But there's the whole ordeal of getting up on a chair and the rope. Plus, there's no guarantee that the fall would break your neck, right? So then you end up choking to death, and how long would it even take for you to lose consciousness? Talk about your cruel and unusual punishment. What's left? Decapitation? Sure, but who has a guillotine in their house? Carbon monoxide poisoning takes too long. Bleeding to death takes too long. Shelby says I'm being a pussy about it, being afraid of a little pain. But it's easy enough to say from a safe distance, isn't it, Shelly? It's easy enough when it's not you who's doing it. I'm just not that type. Maybe she could handle the pain and the suffering, but I can't. Yeah, I know I shouldn't be worried about the pain it causes him. <laughs> Not after all the times he's hurt me. He deserves whatever happens to him, no matter how much it hurts. But I couldn't stand to see him suffer. This is somebody that I, I used to love. Even if the son of a bitch beats the hell out of me on the regular, even if he thought it was funny when he broke my foot, it's going to have to be fast or I'll chicken out. I'll call for an ambulance to try to save his worthless life. I, I know I would. Call me a pussy if you want, Shelly. But that's just who I am. After everything he's done to me, I... It's just who I am. I'm still a decent person. This is going to have to do... No looking back now. The die is cast, as Caesar said. No uncrossing the Rubicon with something like this. No second thoughts. No regrets. This'll do. Just climb in the tub, honey. I got it all ready for you. A nice hot bath to relax you after a hard day at work. And what a shame that you didn't Notice that the hair dryer was plugged in. 
or how close it was to the tub. What a terrible accident. Hurry home, lover boy.